Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on Invesco Mortgage Capital, uh, ticker IVR. Uh, I've done a couple videos on this one. I've been uh, buying into this one slowly, although it uh, keeps going down like uh, everything else. Um, I don't have a whole lot here. I bought a couple more shares in uh, retirement and just kind of let it sit there and do its thing on drip. But uh, it's got a decent dividend. Um, we'll go over that here in a moment as well. But uh, this is what it looks like over the uh, last year. So it has came down. It had a little bit of a run up back there in June. And ever since then, it's uh, just came sliding down. There's a nice dip here. On the uh, 20th at 271, so um, I only have 30 shares here and uh, a spaces of three dollars and six cents, down over 10 percent in the last month. In the or last three months, in the last month it's down over six percent. In the last uh, week, traded kind of uh, sideways, and here's a look at the um, what it's doing today. So. Uh, if you don't know much about this one, it's a uh, holding company and engages in investing in financing and management, uh, residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. Founded in 2008 with a 1.11 million shares being traded and on the average is 6.79 million with an $885 million market cap. 52-week uh, low of 263 high of 460 here's a look at their last earnings uh, next one is expected on uh, February 22nd uh, so you might want to put that on your calendar here's a look at the last time that I uh, tried buying some at 263 looks like it was cancelled uh, probably bid too low 289 293 so you can see how it's been going down from the 13th through the uh, 20th and so I just got a couple shares. I try buying them on the dips. Uh, I'm not putting a whole lot into this one, just to kind of experiment with it. Uh, as you can see right here on uh, Bing, it's showing that as a sell. So it doesn't have the greatest ratings, um, but the dividend's attractive. Invesco Mortgage Capital announces quarterly common dividend. And this is just dated on Monday, so um, two days ago. Mm -hmm. So the... Um, IVR today announced that the uh, board of directors declared a cash dividend of nine cents per share of common stock for the fourth quarter of 2021. Dividend will be paid on January 27, 2022, to stockholders of record on January 11, 22, with the next dividend date of uh, January 10th. So, if you want to get in on the uh, January 27. Um, Pay date, you need to put all this right here on your calendar and make sure you're in by the uh, X dividend date there on the uh, 10th. This goes over a little bit more about an IVR is a real estate investment trust that primarily focuses on investing, financing, and managing uh, mortgage backed securities and other mortgage related assets. Invesco Mortgage Capital is externally managed and advised by Invesco. Advisors, a subsidiary of Invesco, IVZ. So I haven't looked into that one yet. That might be uh, worth looking into. A leading independent uh, global management firm. Uh, additional information is available at InvescoMortgageCapital.com. IVR is actually upgraded. This is the article that I liked to uh, buy by Zach's Investment Research, and this is dated here. You can see today, so this I did like. Uh, was upgraded uh, from Zach's Investment from a hold to a rating of a buy rating, and a research report issued on Wednesday by Zach's Reports. The brokerage uh, presently has a three dollar and twenty five cent. Target price on the real estate investment trust stock. Zach's investment uh, target price suggests a potential upside of 14.04% from the company's current price. So even if you don't um, 
like this stock. Uh, this is a good article, so we'll see what this does to the price. So, again, IVR is a real estate investment trust that uh, forces focuses on uh, financing and management residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. I, Invesco Mortgage Capital is externally managed and advised by Invesco uh, Institutional, a subsidiary of Invesco Limited. Uh, shares of IVR opened at 285 on Wednesday. The uh, firm has a market cap of 888.46 million, a price to earnings ratio of 8.64, and a beta of 1.30. Business 50-day simple moving average is $3.07, and its uh, 200 simple moving average is $3.26. Invesco Mortgage Capital have a 52-week low of 263 and a high of $4.60. Here it kind of goes over some uh, earnings per share. I'm just going to slowly scroll through the rest of this information for those of you that would like to uh, read this. And here it kind of goes over their uh, profile. Again, you can find all this on ETFDailyNews.com. IVR uh, moved down uh, 0, 0 0.00, why it's important. This is dated here today. So they closed the trading session at $2.85 on 12.28. The uh, day's price range saw a stock hit a low of 2.84. While the uh, highest price level was two dollars and eighty nine cents, the company report on twelve twenty seven that Invesco Mortgage Capital announces quarterly common dividend. Invesco Mortgage Capital uh, today announced that the uh, board of directors declared a cash dividend of nine cents per share of common stock for the fourth quarter of twenty twenty one. And again, the uh, dividend will be paid on 127.22, and so you want to put all this on your calendar. So you need to be in it by uh, 110 of 2022. That's the ex-dividend date, and it's record date on January 11 of 2022. <clears throat> Stock has a Date performance of minus 15.68% and weekly performance of 5.17%. If compared to the average trading volume of 4.80 million shares, IVR reached to a volume of 499 or 4,995,710. So, um, Actually, a little bit over that, so that is a good thing. Get uh, more people trading this. Uh, here, it's kind of going over some uh, buy recommendations on a scale, and we'll go over some more of that uh, here at the uh, end of the uh, video. Invesco um, could be see could make significant gains, and this is dated here today. So, in the last trading session, five million. Invesco Mortgage Capital shares uh, changed hands as the company's beta touched 1.29 with the company's new share price of $2.85 changed hands at uh, 0, 0.0 or 0.00% during the last session. The market valuation stood at $888.49 million. IVR's last price was a discount. Traded at minus 61.4% off of its 52-week high of $4.60. Share price at a 52-week low of 263, which suggests a seven. The value was 7.72% up since then. Uh, when we look at uh, IVR average trading volume, we note the 10-day average is 6.96 million shares, with a three-month average coming to uh, 4. 80 million. Here it kind of goes over some more buy ratings over here on uh, Reddit. So people have been talking about this one and uh, watching it for a while, and there's nothing up to date there on Reddit, so we'll check out uh, StockTwits currently at 283, 52-week low of 263, high of $4.60. 
Picked up some cheap 350 calls today for 2023. This will be the fourth time I've made this play. The last few times I didn't. This, my buys over doubled in value. Fingers crossed that it will do it again. Hmm. Wow, that is clear out there. $3.50 calls. Trying to help, I have plans to bring my holdings up to 26,000 shares by the first of the year. Be patient. Wow. Largest put decreases. IVR is listed there. Let's fire AT&T. Buying more today, easy long-term hold. Thinking about dropping 100,000 in for 35,000 shares. Wow. I wish I had money like that to drop. That's crazy. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a sell. And nothing here on uh, tip ranks to uh, rate it. So again, this is uh, ticker IVR. So if you have this one, go ahead and list it in the comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you want to share on this one, that would be helpful in uh, making some money off of this one. And if there's any other stocks you want me to take a look at, I'd be happy to take a look at those as well. You can go ahead and leave that in the uh, comment. And I'll see what I can do to put a video together. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money following Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.